Um, when you speak about international cricketers, and Indian cricketers in particular, you have this celebrity status, you speak about how glamorous it is, especially when it extends to their families, their partners, their spouses here. And everyone looks at how it will be perfect, picture perfect, savvy, social media. Oh, it's all so easy, not messy one bit. We're here to break those myths here today. And I've got, some, I've got two remarkable ladies whom I've had the privilege of knowing over the last few years to join me and, uh, and make this conversation more enlightening. Because in all the years, we always talk about the success and the struggles of the cricketers. But it's time to talk about the Shakti behind all of that. I'm really honored to be joined by Priyanka Chaudhary Raina and Pooja Kobari. Thank you so much, ladies. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Shupa. All right. First off, I have to sort of ask you, how many times have you heard this, or probably even being mentioned to you, it's all so glamorous. Bahut easy. It's fun. You want to go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So usually when you think of a cricketer's wife, you think, oh, they travel, they, they, they just live the best life, and, uh, you know, they enjoy, they have it all. Um, little is the known fact that uh, cricketers live a very disciplined life, and uh, the family has to follow. Um, you may initially just, you know, try to be there, but eventually, you know, you, you, f you understand the importance of the discipline, and uh, you kind of want to grow with that. So, yeah, so it, it, it just looks glamorous on the outside, but it's just hard work and, yeah, yeah, and, and, and sweat and everything in between, yeah, yeah. Priyanka. I think for the right reasons they have this kind of perception because thanks to social media the kind of perception we give to the world is that we are traveling, we are lunching, we are dining out and we are doing the best things with our kids because we tend to share only the good parts, right? And we are so socially active all the time giving these kinds of updates about our life. So for right reasons that's the kind of perception usually people have. But trust me, our household is as normal as anybody else, I think, in this room. And uh, we have similar kind of struggles, similar kind of uh, challenges to deal with every day. So yes, it happens a lot. You know, before we go to the next question, I obviously want to say there's a bit of a surprise, not just for the ladies here, but for all of you gathered here. We'll come to that in a bit. But if I have to just ask my obvious question to dig deep right at the start. You know, it, they say it takes a village to raise a child. I'd say the same for a champion and also to sort of mold yourself into being one. I mean, it's very difficult to have the success stories of a World Cup winner and a Maverick in the shorter format like Suresh Raina or a Test Championship finalist and one of the legacies and legends of the longer format of the country, Chetishwar Pujara. It's not easy. It takes a lot of sacrifices for them to get here. Let's listen to yours. You go ahead. So I wouldn't call it like a sacrifice, to be honest, because we are one family unit. And our common goal and objective is to make a home which is full of love, of course, full of love, discipline, and of course, giving a good future to our children, right? That's the sole and common objective we have. So what I would really say that a lot of cooperation is required. And uh, we, I, I really have a lot of respect for all the hard work these guys put in. And they, as uh, Pooja said, they have to have a lot of discipline, a lot of travel is involved. So while we sometimes have to be on the back foot with our things because um, their things have to take priority, at the same time they're also sacrificing a lot because it's not easy to travel for months, not to see children, not to be at home. So that also takes a lot of toll on them. So it's all about being there for each other, being supportive. So we make sure that we organize things well, that when they need us, we're right there because while they're playing such um, tournaments, they have to be emotionally and mentally very strong so at that time I think as a partner it becomes very essential that they're mentally free and they're not having any worries coming in from home that children are having this or I'm going through this so that is one thing we always have to ensure that they are playing there with free mind without, without having to worry about anything. Pooja any uh, instances that you can reflect which sort of helps us understand this better? Yeah of course um, lots and lots actually uh, so uh, uh, just before, like, a uh, couple of years, there was COVID, right? Um, the guys were traveling nonstop, and they were part of something called bio-bubbles, right? They were created in order for them to, you know, have the tournament going. At the same time, uh, they were away from home. Uh, so one bio-bubble after the other. 
and while uh, the players have the motivation to you know because they are going on the field and doing pursuing their passion and doing what they like for the country for for whatever uh, uh, franchise that they are playing um, the families had also become uh, used to or you know the bio bubble uh, you know being confined into a hotel room um, it it may look all nice but it doesn't feel so on some days and uh, while you may not like it but you have to do it and you want to be there for your partner uh, so you know like from one, one moving you living in a suitcase basically from one one hotel to the other hotel and uh, yeah the, the list just goes on and this is just one anecdote uh, but there are so many sacrifices that you know a, a, a family of the cricketer not just the partner but the family of the cricketer has to make and uh, it is a choice uh, it it is not like imposed or it is not um, you know told to you but it's a, it's a choice because at some stage i i believe uh, one has to understand and take a step back um, in order for the other one to flourish and you will have your time and and that is when you can flourish and you know your partner will be cheering you yeah you know i just wanted to take off on that before we interject because that's a very interesting point that you made there you know we speak about your partners coming in when you know it, it, when you need the most going into this particular sort of a marriage did you envision that this is how it's going to be did you envision things and difficulties or the challenges that you obviously both of you have encountered did you envision it to be that way or was it more than you imagined it i think you can't envision what happens in a marriage to be honest uh, marriage in itself is a, I, i think it's one of the biggest change of your life right and you cannot prepare yourself for that it's just once you are in it then you know what's going to what kind of package you got basically so yeah i think you just have to be prepared what's going to come your way and as long as you both are strong with each other then you're ready to face it pooja was there a conversation about this about the fact that there will be certain things that has to you know be given up for this journey to go forward. not really uh, uh like i, I it, personally uh it it was never like that but you know my husband requested me that you know for some time because i'm going to be on the road for 11 months a year and for some time you know if you can quit your 9 to 6 job it would be really great because we get to some, spend some time together so no one can really prepare you as priyanka mentioned and you just learn and grow every day and uh, you know it's it's a different experience every day so it, it's it's not the same and you can't uh, put anyone's journey in one in one particular you know column and uh, every person's journey is different and the demand of every household is different um and and you know being a long format player my husband was on the road 11 months a year so if i wanted to spend a little time with him i had to you know like give his career at that point in time you know the front seat and i had to take a back seat but that does not mean that um uh, you know i was not doing anything concrete at that point in time and you can be contributing in many ways there is not one way to contribute um so Yeah, absolutely well said there and that gives me the perfect intrusion in some sense to uh show a little something to uh, both of you it's a special message uh i i tried to build the surprise as much as i could um so if i could ask my team to uh play out the messages that we have let's hear it please hi priyanka this is a special shout out to you thank you for coming in my life and being a great anchor you have truly helped me succeed in my professional space and our family our home is a wonderful place and you have played a big part in keeping it that way you have done really well as a professional entrepreneur you have succeeded mate you have grown up uh, looking after your ngo grassi arena foundation this is recognized the shaktis our society and you have done really well and shri shakti event is going to be amazing for you as well as for others all the best to everyone hi puja for a change it's good to be on this side of the fence with you taking center stage in front of the media and me taking care of aditi and the home in your absence jokes aside i'm grateful to you for being the anchor in my life and at home looking after so many things from taking care of aditi my dad and managing the household stuff apart from all this you have managed my commercial and financial matters as well 
and you have done it so seamlessly allowing me to focus on my game and career all these years thank you for all you have done so far enjoy the session and see you at home soon the operative word is soon we can't be away for too long but that brings me into a very nice interesting subject we all talk about equal parenting we know there is no such thing let's be honest uh, but we want to hear it from you ladies because i have i have, I have a few in fact the one reason why we wanted to have this conversation and we needed to have this sort of conversation is during the time when we were with chennai super kings i remember aditi pooja and cheteshwar's daughter saying you know in school there was a teacher who asked okay what do you what does your uh, what do our parents do and she said uh, my dad plays my mom works um, so i want to know how much of an impact that you've had and similarly with with priyanka as well there was a shoot we did with priyanka and suresh and both the kids rio and gracia were there and they just automatically gravitated towards whatever it is that priyanka was saying and everything that she said really mattered so how important has that been and what about what kind of a responsibility have you shouldered in that regard see it's a it's a huge responsibility right like parenting a child uh even if you um, even if you know you, you, you both as a couple you are doing a 9 to 6 job or in any work per se uh parenting is a huge responsibility on its own now um imagine you know like your partner is away for like 6 7 months a year or 8 months a year and you have to be you are you are doing the double parenting as single handedly so it is uh it is i wouldn't say challenging uh because uh, you know you kind of have to bring the best that you have in you in order for your child to feel very secure very um uh even adapting because you know you are on the road a lot of time so you know you're just teaching adaptability um teaching sportsmanship there are a lot of things that go uh, because you know not every day uh, uh like there's a lot of scrutiny over cricketers lives right so uh, and children knowingly unknowingly also get to hear about it so while uh, you know so see, as a parent you have to really you know like pull up your socks and you know you explain the right things to your children and you know give them the right information and the right window uh, for them to grow uh, and and that is what you know as a mother uh, because you know when when you when your partner is traveling that is what you know as as a parent it, you, you have to take that onus on you and you know kind of uh make sure that you know your child you know inculcates the right uh, qualities and you know like the right habits so yeah how difficult was is that part of the roles that you end up playing priyanka you know trying to be two parents instead of one i think children are very smart these days <laughs> so i cannot just simply be there and say okay dad is not here so you know i'm going to be replacing him or something they really know what they need from each parent they're very very smart uh when it comes to anything uh where they seek any sort of security or any cuddles they know they're not going to reach out to moms and when it's fun times then it's always fathers um we are the bad cops no matter what and um I tell you an example so my daughter Gracia she's 8 years old and um she has a daily log from school where they talk about different things they have learned today and she came back home and she has this word resilient and uh, so I asked her what does it mean what did you learn and she said um for me resilient means you and I think that was a very big thing for me I literally had tears in my eyes because I look up to my children honestly speaking I look up to them for any sort of validation they are my biggest support system biggest critiques and my daughter even though she's 8 she's already acting like a teenager so she would be the first one to say mom you're not doing it right you need to change your clothes you're not looking nice so and that is something nobody can replace that kind of bonding i have with my children and similarly my son he's very sporty he's 4 years old he's so much into cricket right now i can't even explain so for him papa and his matches watching him play that's the biggest joy of life right now so um we really make sure that whenever he's around or i'm not traveling that we give these beautiful uh, moments to our children they cherish them and we be there for each other you know very quickly i have to ask you about this as well we know we are running short of time but this is a very key question um you know obviously both of you are accomplished professionally as well you know with priyanka with mate you help your 
fa family with their business, and of course you've had your own career that you're proud of. How difficult was it initially to take a step back, and how do you see this aspect of your growth in the years to come? So I come from a, a corporate background of long, long, like 14, 15 years. And uh, I was not based in India. I was into ba banking and I was working in Europe. Uh, right after I got married, I moved to uh, India. Uh, the first change <laughs> right after ma getting married. And um, it's, it was not possible for me to just sit at home and do nothing. So I found my ways of doing things which I could gradually pick up because um, I had a daughter right after I moved back here and my son, he was born during COVID on first day of lockdown, by the way. Um, so I knew that I want to do something on my own so that I have more time to spare for my kids and be for them while my husband is traveling, basically. Um, so I started working on my foundation where I worked towards maternal health and uh, mental health of women. And at the same time, I started Mate, which is a baby care brand. And um, so I have partners and they, they know that my first priority is of course my family and my kids because they are very young and I do not want to miss on the special time with them. So yeah, I uh, ensure that my team is aware of that and they're always there for me when I'm not around. So. Pooja, very quickly before we wrap this up. Uh, yeah, so it was challenging to be honest, I'll not lie, it was really, really challenging. Uh, just, you know, traveling and not doing anything. But then eventually I realized that when you have some free time to yourself, it's good to, you know, like learn new things uh, because you have some time available to you. So firstly, I started learning about cricket. I didn't know a thing about cricket. So I started understanding the game. Then I started understanding... She loves cricket. Yes, I do. <laughs> and uh, so then I started understanding about the game. Then I started understanding about the other aspects of the game, like uh, a professional cricketer needs to be managed, right? Uh, so, so the other the, the endorsements and the commercial aspects of it and everything. Um, and then while cricketers are like, you know, they're really good at what they do, but they don't really know, they don't manage their finances well, I think. <laughs> so then, that, then I got into that aspect and I started doing those things which were adding a lot more value than, you know, me being away and just, you know, pursuing my career on my own would have. And uh, I, I will not lie, you know, I, I did have my regrets. I did have second thoughts that I want to go back to, you know, the things that I was doing. Um, but when I started doing these things, um, it's, it started giving me, uh, you know, that, 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 uh, that joy uh, of what I was doing in my other professional uh, career. And uh, that is when I realized, that, okay, you know, you, it, it's, it, if you have the flexibility to work from anywhere, then why do you want to you just be confined to, you know, um, a, a space? And so, yeah. Right. And I'm sure even this time you, we're not, we won't be able to encompass all that goes behind the walls, but we do realize that whatever success that you see on the field, a lot of it depends on what happens behind the scenes. And uh, ladies, you do a remarkable job of that as well as uh, furthering your own. Thank you so much for joining us here today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.